Hey folks, this is IOE throwing we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Alex the Assassin. And he's in the T-50-2. This is one of my favorite tanks from back in the day. Obviously, they murdered it more than auto, but in the spirit of way back when, we're gonna enjoy this game. Um, so he is running, oops, that's the wrong button. He is running uh, rations and then so that's instead of a fire extinguisher. If you do get set on fire in this tank, more than likely you're dead. Um, so if you don't want to run combat rations, um, the speed governor, remove speed government is not a bad idea. Just be careful with it. You got cliffs like this too much, you're gonna burn out your engine. But, um, ooh, it's still fun to do. Anyway, so. Managing to make it all the way up to the top of the White House without getting hit on Cliff. I said, did say this is a T rate game on Cliff, right? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. He's against an E25. He's got him auto locked in. That E25 is going to have to come all the way over the ridge line before he can shoot. Um, whereas we obviously don't have to. Oh, E25 is bouncing more shots than he wants to. He looks like he's going for a ram. Except he, uh, he didn't ram us, he rammed our ally in the, uh, the T-71. T-71 goes down, and then an ally killed an ally, and we lost our SU-100Y. <laughs> Great. So now we are the only things up here. Um, that E-25 would have been extremely powerful up here. But it's 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 not here, so <laughs> it ain't gonna be powerful. Um, note we are visible right now, so he's gonna be taking some return fire. Except apparently, oh yeah, there we go. People just weird. Okay, so looks like he's gonna sneak back to the same spot. He's probably gonna get spotted doing a similar thing again. He is actually using this rock to poke up and over and launching gold shells down to the top of that VK. Now the reason he's using gold is because he's shooting into the face of VK um, 30.01P. Um, that thing is going <clears> to... <throat> wow, where did my voice go? Uh, that thing is going to take some shooting unless he can manage to get shots into the side of it nope that shot is not gonna, not gonna hit and he does get spotted doing that takes a round from the hellcat hellcat hits him one more time it's donezo end of game so he's gotta make sure that doesn't happen where is that t28 going and why and okay i mean sure we're gonna take it it's gonna let us set it on fire and then repeatedly put shells into the back of it uh, at this point in time, he does not need the gold for this. You can do this with standard ammo, by the way. Maybe not 100% of these shells will be going in, but most of them would. And he probably would have done a similar amount of damage. He only set it on fire for 40 damage, and the rest of it was just shells. Um, because of the fact that the, the rear armor on a T-28 is like 30 millimeters thick or something like that. So, those shells would go in. It's only the ones where you started to angle where it maybe went in. Um, putting a, snapping a shot out where the Rudy should have been. Um, I don't know if that hit or not, but if it, uh, if the Rudy kept going the way he was going, that, that connected. We'll see in the end whether or not that did, in fact, connect. We see the AMX, but we don't have an angle on him from up here, so, ooh, the side skid into the rock and then falling down the cliff. It's not the most graceful way to leave a cliff, but it worked out, I guess. Looks like he's going to blast past his T-34, hoping not to get hit as he goes past. He doesn't, and now he's got the back end of a T-34. If only he could put shots into it and not into the armor on the back of this thing. That would have gone much better. Uh, Auto-aiming onto the WZ is unfortunately going to mean he misses two beautifully easy shots and then gives a perfectly easy shot for the WZ but the WZ doesn't take it and in fact we get the kill racing over here for the Hellcat that we already know is over here because it shot us once already uh, looks like he may take a diversion and shoot the Lorraine 
No, he's just in fact gonna use the cliffside and get up here just in time to see the Hellcat fire. Hellcat's gonna reorient it on us, I have no doubt, but in fact the thing already fired once. We gotta have incoming friendly fire, there we go. And down goes the Hellcat, and also down goes the M44, who we didn't know we were spotting, but we were definitely spotting. So that that is why you play Escape Tank, <laughs> because by the end of the game, Things are happening so fast and so furious, you can't keep track of them all. But it is gloriously fun. Um, oh, that's the Rudy. Okay. I was like, wait a second. When did another tank get up here? Yeah. That was great. Thank you so much for saying that in, Alex. We're going to hop on over and see what um, his battle results were. That is a great way to get your second mark of excellence. Ace tanker, spotter, fire for effect. He landed one bond with that. And an Oryx medal. <laughs> Not bad overall. Um, I mean, obviously there's times in that game where I wish he wasn't firing gold. Because I don't think he needed it most of the time. But the times where you're shooting into that VK, I'm pretty sure he needed it. I would have been using it at that time. Uh, the rest of them, though, I don't think we need it anymore. Except for maybe um, when he was engaging the T-34. I definitely would have engaged my gold rounds for that thing because um, a single shot from that and we were dead. And so you need to make sure that every shot went in to, you know, kill him before he could get, bring his gun to bear kind of thing. Um, but then it was a well-played game overall and just getting into aggressive spying position meant that not only did he do oh, his only second most damage on the team, um, but the 14 hour spy damage puts him over the top in experience. Well, I guess that and the fact that he was probably spotting most of his own targets of that game, which is something the rest of the team didn't have so much uh, of because, you know, obviously we got a bunch of spy damage, right? Um, he lost a ton of money in that game, but don't forget, if he hadn't been firing gold so much, he would have lost a lot less. Um, most of those shots would have penetrated, except well, maybe on the VK and the T34 without the gold. So he could have saved some cash there and obviously not bring the rations, but instead bring a room of speed governor would have saved a little bit of money there. So all in all, this is a game that could have made him money if he decided he wanted to make money, but even start f instead, I'm fairly certain he was going for his marks of excellence, seeing as he got his second mark this game. Um, and seeing as he used a lot of gold, I'm going to assume mark of excellence run. And so he's going through his third mark. And in which case, this is a very cheap run. <coughs> and apparently, my um, throat has decided I no longer deserve to be talking. So I'm actually going to cut this short without a bonus clip. I'm sorry. I don't have time to put one in today. And apparently, my throat is telling me to stop recording anyway. So thank you all for watching. Um, enjoy this. And I will see you tomorrow with another... Um, another World Tanks game. I'll see you then. This is IOE throughout.